Morning. Welcome to RTR TV. Whew. Quite overgrown now. I haven't been here for about two months, this woodland. And uh, obviously in that time, it's become very, very lush. <laughs> oh, it's great to get here. The last time I was here was when I set my camo net up in the crater. And funny enough, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. But I'm going to use my green camo net, obviously, because it is very green these days. I'm getting near to the spot where I need to be. So I'll bring you back when I'm nearly there. So here we are. Here's the old crater down here. Oh, very overgrown now. Look at that. Just goes to show how much two months can change a woodland. Oh, right. I'm actually going to go and check, see if all the wood's still there from the lean-to I um, built in the winter. <laughs> see the yew tree over there. Oh, actually, I think someone's made use of the wood that I gathered for it. Let's go and have a look. Okay, maybe they didn't. <laughs> Just looking at it from the wrong angle, just saw all those bits of wood, those trees there, thought that was it. But yeah, wood's still here. <sighs> After all those months. It's lovely and dark under this tree, under these yew trees. <sighs> right, I'm gonna go back to that crater get this bag off my sweaty back. Whew. Whew. It's about 30 degrees today. It's extremely warm. Oh, my back's sweating. Probably. Oh. It's wonderful be, to be back here. Just the sound of a distant airplane, light aircraft. Right, let's get this net set up. So there you go, I've set the camo net up. I think that's probably the worst I've ever set a camo net up. But I've got to say, blending in quite well, isn't it? Just let me go around this side. Um, hang on. I want to do it at ground level. So there it is. Can you see it? I don't know if I can. I ain't actually got my glasses on, so <laughs> it's quite difficult to see. Looks pretty good though, that's cool. Right, I've got a Chinese style stir fry. I'm gonna cook up under there. Let's go and do it. Whew. So here we are, under the camo net. Yeah, the setup of it <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired, but Hey, I'm down a crater and a ground level, to film from ground level, looks pretty good actually. So, yeah. If you're wondering about my new bush hat, oh, hang on. So sweaty, so hot. Pentagon bush hat. Got some nice vents on the side there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, four of them. Nice Velcro pocket on the side. Hang on, let me. Let me put this on a tr on the tr tripod on this this camera on the tripod there. There you go. There we go. So yeah, my new bush hat, jungle hat, woodland colours. It's got this rather great Velcro pocket 
there, but it's also got a square Velcro on the top. Is that for sticking your pocket on the top if you want it? I don't know. What does it look like? <laughs> bit impractical there. If anyone can tell me what that bit of Velcro on the top is for, I'll be much appreciated. Could be to do with um, camo things. I guess the pocket's useful. Right, I'm going to get the old uh, Bushbox XL set up with the Trangia burner in it. That should be good. Alright. Got the kettle on. Maybe I should let that get going first. But hey, it'll go eventually. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look, terrible bit of camo net hanging up in, if that is a thing. Got the old bush hat hanging on there. So hot today. 30 degrees. Whew, sweltering. It's nice and cool under this canopy though. And even the camo net's giving me a bit of a uh, shelter from the sun, so... Yeah, it's good. This is the right colour for this time of year. So what have I got to eat today? Chinese style chicken stir fry kit. Very nice. Stir fry in 12 minutes. With red peppers and spring onions. Very nice. Um, those who've watched my videos in the past, I've had this before. Um, I think it was one of my first videos I ever made, actually, back in very, very early, well, either very, really late 2019 or very early 2020, before the lockdown. I think I did this, starting to repeat myself. But I did like it, it's very nice. Sticky too. <laughs> so we'll do that in a minute. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I haven't come to the woods for a little while because I've had um, some quite serious car trouble again. Um, bearings, both the bearings went on the back wheels. And I think I probably said it before, but it started to get really bad. And it, when you're in the car and you were driving, it sounded like a Lancaster bomber. You know, it's so loud you almost like needed an intercom to talk to your the passenger but I managed to get it fixed took four days to fix it and I only got it back yesterday and it purrs like a kitten <laughs> so quiet I don't think the car's ever been that quiet since I've had it so yeah that's how I've come back out into the, these woods that I like to come to which are quite away uh, from where I live so I needed the wheels really um, that's why I did a lot of videos down on the beach and around the beach. Oh, I love the beach. It's, I might even go there tomorrow, actually. Thinking about it. I bought some fish. Some cod loins. And you, got, you can only have that at the beach, can't you? <laughs> so, yeah. That's, and it's good to get back out in these woods again. Love it here. Yeah. Very tranquil. I think the water's starting to boil. It's good. I don't know if coffee's the right thing to drink on a day like today. I don't know though. Hot drinks seem to be better, don't they? And I don't know. Maybe tea would be better on a hot day like today. So I've got the, got the oil in the pan already, so might as well get it warmed up. Using the pan from the cheapest Amazon cook set. And I'll put the thing up for it. So let's get it warmed up, get the chicken on. Let's take the sauce out. Don't need that yet. 
Let's get this chicken going. Trying not to knock the frying pan off the burner. Smells good, as always. Forgot to put the shimmer ring on, didn't I? Oh well. Just have to stir for all of this. Chicken nearly done. Oh, in there, don't go away. I'm gonna get these peppers in now. Oh, good. It's a lot there. Oh, look at this. I don't know if this pan can take it. <laughs> Just let me move my coffee out of the way. I don't want to get pepper or an onion in that. Uh, got a feeling I'm going to end up losing some of this over the side, like that. Oh, I don't want to lose that. That's a big bit of chicken. Can I save that? Of course I can. Of course I can save it. I think I'll let that wilt down a bit. I think it's time to open this uh, sachet of sticky sauce. Don't worry, I will take that with me. All more rubbish will come with me, as you know. Leave no trace, of course. And there we go, sticky sauce. That there for now. Give it a bit of a mix in. I lose some peppers like a good in here. Some critters will probably munch on that. I dare say. Give that. A few, give that a few more minutes. There's some shotguns not too far away. <laughs> oh, it's nearly done. Nearly done. Oh. So what do you think of the old and the new bush out there? Alright, isn't it? Don't know if I'll have this dangling down though. But you, you know, if it's a windy day, be handy. Look at that. Doing nicely. What I think I'll do is I'm sitting on a tree stump here. I'm going to um, put me. I'm going to put me plate on the tree stump and serve it up onto that. I think we're nearly done. Mm -mm. Lovely, lovely. It's going to be nice, this towel. Lots of sauce with this one. Keep dropping these peppers. Need a plate all ready to receive this. Look at that. Don't that look good? Mm-mm. 
yes. I was thinking about having a fire here, but I don't know. It's so dry. Let me know what you think. Should I have a fire in the woods? I know a lot of people do, and I am pretty careful when I have a fire in the woods. Uh, just leave a comment, let me know what you think. Should I have a fire in the woods when it's tinder dry and 30 degrees? Like I say, I am careful, but not sure. Nothing that'll do now. It's done to me. Let's pour it on this plate. I think a rock is needed with this. There's so much here. Get some of the bits in there. Lovely. That's good. What I'm going to do is to extinguish the Trangia burner. First time that time. <laughs> Right, let's eat this. Look at that. It's all right, doesn't it? Hey, chicken stir fry. Yeah. This is as good as I remember it. Actually, I don't know if it's the same. I'm not sure if it was a sticky, sticky type. Very nice. Ice cream might go down better. Not many ice cream vans around here, though. This plate's hot. I'm still losing me peppers. Bring it back, of course, when I'm done, or when I'm nearly done. Okay, so there's a lot here. It's probably built for two. I thought there was enough for two. Nearly done. The last bit of chicken. There's plenty of gravy left on this. I think I might have to lick the plate. Mm. Never done that on a video before, ever. Lick the plate. Mm. So nice. What do you reckon? Shall I lick it? No. Likes to lick his gravy off a plastic plate. Even though it's not plastic. If anyone knows that song in the comments. <laughs> mm. Licking the plate. I haven't done that for a long time. Try not to drag your chin through the gravy as well. You really don't want to see me doing this, do you? <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> that 
delicious. got this camera in it. It's good though. Works a treat. Especially this time of year. Pardon me, it's the right colour, green. Excellent. So big though. I think it's about five metres by three. Which is why I, I had trouble setting it up in this little, because it's so big. The other camera net I had when I was in here, and if I haven't done so already I'll put a thing up. The other camera net I had was a lot smaller than this and it seemed to fit in here perfectly, but this is huge. <laughs> Trench is nice and cool now. So I took the, uh, put it out straight away and uh, took the, uh, cover off it just to let it cool down a bit and it cooled down a lot quicker I think so done I was gonna have a drop of uh, <coughs> water from the old Vietnam era canteen this is good tell you what I reckon I'm going to have fun and games getting this um, camo net back in that bag. It's getting stuck on everything. Still. I'll get it done. I'm just going to start putting everything away now. Leave no trace, of course. Some rubbish there is going to go with me. There you go, look. Got the net down. Uh, got a patch away, it goes by pretty good actually. There's a little bit that ties it all together and holds it while you stuff it in the bag, so that's good. So the only thing that's left there now is my Ray Bans, a couple of peppers, and my canteen. I'm just going to have a swig of this. Summer is definitely here, I think. Although they do say I might get some thunderstorms on Saturday, tomorrow. It's Friday today, by the way. So, uh, if there's any thunderstorms around my way, I will get some footage. <laughs> oh. everything. Just make sure I've left nothing behind. Got the old Victorinox. Yep. Do not want to leave my Ray-Bans behind. So I'll just put this back in the bag. It's a warm one today. Heading back to that there civilization, I guess. Right, let's get up out of this crater. Right, that's it. Ooh. And I'll bid adieu to my crater until the next time. Good little spot, I like it. Right, let's head back. 
You know, when I was a kid, I was always building dens. Always building dens. And I actually lived on uh, um, an estate that was being in the process of being built. So obviously, there's lots of places we could build a den. And I'm sort of thinking I might do it again. With all that wood that I left over from when I built the lean-to and it collapsed eventually. I think that'd be a good idea, make a den. <laughs> but I want to make it very stealthy, you know, not obvious to anyone. Maybe I will. Summer months are coming, summer holidays will be starting soon. Not long now. I'm just gonna head this way. Next weekend, it's the Duke of Edinburgh qualifier. So I'll be out all weekend. I will be trying to get some footage. Hopefully I will. I'm going to be sleeping overnight in the old mill tech um, rather than a DV tent. I'm going to use the mill tech recon for that. And I'm really looking forward to that. Right, time to find the pathway. <laughs> I can't actually see it now. Hottest day of the year so far, I believe. In, in certain parts of the country, it's up to 34. Just north of London. Phew, I think it's about 30 here on the south coast, or in the south of England. So anyway, under this dark canopy, I'd like to say, thanks for coming out with me today. Back to the woods where I've been for two months. I can't believe it's been two months. My car, like I said, it really was in a bad state. <clears throat> but now, purrs like a kitten, it's great. So anyway, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you next time when I'm roving about, wherever it may be. Take care now. See you soon. Bye.